On digital radio, 94.9 FM, and on BBC Sounds, this is London. This is BBC Radio London. Sunny and Shay. Welcome back to the show. It is Sunny and Shay here on BBC Radio London. Nora's back with us for a short, maybe just for today, I think. I don't know. I'm not sure, but it's great to have her yeah, back. Yeah, it's great to have her back. But back you might have recognised her voice and her look from, uh, you know, the children's TV in Africa. But first, we have in the studio Hyde Panessa. Now, he's a comedian, performer and writer. And he's been working uh, extensively within media, specifically in the Asian media, since the age of 15. Wow. He's been touring the country this month with the Desi Central Tour. It's also featuring uh, Kiran Majaria, Omar Hamdi, and also friend of the show, Suk Ojla, as well. It's a pleasure to have you on the show, Hyde. Thank you. Just, no, it's that, an, that, was quite, uh, it's that was a, quite an intro. Yeah, yeah it's, it's an true. honor to have you in the show. Live no, to now, honest, all mine. Yeah, this is a, this is where it goes downhill. <laughs> <laughs> no, we love you already. You're a West London like us. Oh, so yeah. that, go, that yeah. in itself is a good connection. Um, so, Do you want to live home? Is that what uh, you're buttering me up? Like, might need okay. one. You yeah. have two kids, you see, and they want to eat in the car. Oh, yeah. No, <laughs> no, no. They can eat in the boot. <laughs> <laughs> no. I, now, I absolutely love your hashtag. You're wearing a T-shirt. What does it say? Hashtag 99 problems, but my beard ain't one. Yes, that's right. Yeah. So this is something that people can actually get, you know, on your social media. This is a hashtag hashtag that you've been using quite extensively yeah, you even yeah. sell your t-shirts with it what's it all about because for our listeners they won't know you are a turban wearing Sikh I and am, you have yep, a full beard, full, full uh, beard. so have you decided to kind of talk about that in some of your comedy yeah sets? so that that was the name of my um debut show if you like uh, yeah. our show that I did uh, last year actually came out and uh, it was working so I was working on it for quite a long time uh, brought it out and uh, it just kind of I started it off with the, with the uh, hashtags mm. uh, and then it sort of grew from there and I talk about yeah because uh, I wasn't always a turban wearing seat. Mm. Um, so like about six years ago, I think it was, that's when I sort of embraced it all. And uh, and yeah, and, and it kind of, that's where the show grew out of. And I talk about um, being um, like a Mona to, uh, sorry, with a haircut and then going into uh, Sikhi. And then, um, yeah, and then growing up in different areas uh, where I wasn't, I was the only Asian in some parts. So I, I, I'd done a bit of growing up in Wales. And wow. then so, yeah, so d- I bring all that into the show. And, and do stuff, you yeah. find that the experiences of, you know, your comedy is relatable to not just the immigrant community, right? Yeah. But to people from, uh, you know, anyone who's been oppressed in some way, shape or form. Because your comedy isn't straight about, look at me, how sad my life is. It's no. like, isn't this ironic? Like this guy, yeah. Yeah, this person, did you get what I'm coming yeah, from? Yeah, yeah. It's kind of, yeah, I do sort of take a little bit of a, a go at all the stereotypes yes. and sort of say like, well, <laughs> this is what you think it is. Exactly. But hold on a minute. Let's let's take a bigger picture here. We're yeah. not all like that. We're not, you know, maybe some 1% of those people maybe might that be like that. Yeah. And we also, we I embrace the stereotypes as well because that's, you know, that's where the comedy is as yeah. well. So you gotta you got to bring that out. And then I think by doing that, you're breaking down those barriers because there's been a number of, I do a lot of gigs where um there's no asians in the audience yeah um and afterwards the people they were you know there's comments like oh, oh okay yeah so we really loved it because we thought you know there's these thought processes going on yeah and as soon as you sort of come on stage as well and being looking like this and you come on stage i mean it's bad enough going through airport security yeah but, mm-hmm. <laughs> but then when you when you look at people's reactions to what you're saying and then they realize that you can actually see the realization of like Oh, okay. okay. Maybe we shouldn't think like that sort of thing. So. And the thing is that we've had, uh, you know, one of my favourite comedian, British comedians, is Paul Chowdhury, right? Yeah. And uh, and he goes and he's he's commented on this many a time. He says, "I got go anywhere," and they just think that I'm Muslim. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. Uh, and he doesn't correct anyone. He's like, uh, he just <laughs> carries he's on. Stopped correcting everyone. Yeah, now. I, that's what I mean. He's like, right, if that's what you think, and then he'll go into one, right? Yeah, and that's yeah. what he's good for, right? Yeah, because yeah. his comedy is so on point. I mean, I think he's he's the he should have more time on air. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> but then, do you find that as well? Do people still look at you and they think, hold on, I've never seen a Muslim like you before, yeah, and well, yeah, and you like, okay, so let me just, you know, how do you how do you then deal with that kind of stereotyping when yeah. uh, someone's got your religion wrong yeah. and also your background wrong completely yeah i mean i think that, that i talk about some of this in in, in the 99 problem show yes. and um uh mainly it's like the, the britishness of people comes out as well yes. so they they want to say something but they can't they don't want to say it outright all yeah this, all this. so you see this like awkward moment where their mouth is trying to catch up with their brain <laughs> <laughs> and, then, and it's like and then something totally like left field comes out of their mouth and like oh so uh, when are you going to be fasting like that kind of thing exactly. it's like, 
<laughs> hold on a minute. And the thing is, like, I, the thing I don't mind being uh, We've mistaken had that. as a Muslim. We've had that once, haven't we? Where someone said something and you had to say, "No, sorry, that's the wrong kind of brown." Actually, no, that, that's the wrong Indian. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 You got, got the wrong one. I, I think it was uh, it was something to do with I don't know some, some kind of festival that was going on, sure. and uh, they thought I might be an expert on it. I said. <laughs> got the got the wrong Indian, mate. Yeah. You know what I mean, yeah, uh, not, right. not the my, not my my expertise in that area. Yeah. I learn just as much as you will on this kind of venture. Well, exactly. Yeah, and then yeah. our Gopal outside, right? And yeah. uh, Gopal, he's uh, someone who doesn't wear a turban or anything, but he eats meat. And so someone was offering him some meat earlier on, and they said, "Do you eat pork?" He goes. Uh, yeah, if I eat meat, I eat pork, <laughs> yeah. right? And then obviously it comes to do those assumptions. Sure. Uh, do we need more voices out there from the Sikh community and the, the Tamil community and all of these other voices, which are part of Britain, yeah. that always get mistaken for, I guess, like there's a lot of people who out there talk about Muslim uh, issues and British Muslims and rightly so, just more voices coming, more diverse voices coming out yeah. within that uh, field as well. Yeah, definitely. I think I think the, it needs to grow. There's at the moment. I don't think the represent, representation is right at the moment, but I mean it is getting better. But there's a long way to go, and I think uh, and I think that's all across everything. I agree. Um, yeah. And especially in media, as I mean, I mean, recently they uh, they brought the first Sikh family into um, EastEnders. EastEnders are going to be starting as yeah. well because they were in South all before. And they're venturing yeah. out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's it. It took them all that <laughs> time. It's the Indian timing yeah. that's going on. Exactly. And, you know, getting Do you know through. what I found hilarious about that whole East, <laughs> EastEnders thing is all the Asians would always see the one Sikh, you know, in the background. Who well, this would, is, yeah, I talk been about that as well on my show. Yeah, yeah. That's the only. That's the only things that we were allowed on on TV at the time. Is like one at a time. That let's Big not up. let's not make it all crowded, sort of thing. So. And he was always looking for a deal. That's why he didn't yeah. talk. Like, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've yeah, got deal. got things to do. Got to yeah. go, man. Got to exactly. go. Exactly. We're having a great chat today with comedian, performer, and writer Hyde Panessa. Uh, he's currently touring the country this month with Desi Central, and we're going to be finding out in a moment about the show. It's coming to Harrow Arts Centre on Saturday, the fourteenth of September. I'd like to find out from you, Hyde. Uh, some people will. You were talking a lot about stereotypes, Asian stereotypes, especially yeah. when people will look at you and they may make the presumption that you're Muslim when actually you're a turban wearing Sikh with a beard. Yeah. Um, how have you overcome that in the comedy circuit? What I mean by that is, as a comedian, when you're on stage, do you kind of go on stage and say, right, this is who I am and address it straight away? Or do you just kind of not talk about, it? like, wh- what no, side of the I... spectrum do you go on with being a Sikh and, and a comedian? Yeah, I. I approach it head on. I s- literally go on stage and start um, calling out those stereotypes. Brilliant. Um, and saying, "I'm not your cabbie. I'm not your waiter. I'm not. I'm not. You know, this is how long it takes me go- to go through airport security because that's randomly selected all the time." Sort but of I thing. do so- drive an Uber. Yeah, but yeah exactly. well this is it this is how I end it. Like, so but I'll give you a lift home at the end of the end if you're paying me sort of yeah <laughs> so how do people respond genius. to that when you tackle the stereotypes I mean again like uh, I, there's bits where because I t- talk about being from uh, living in Wales for a little bit as well so I use the Indian accent which is you know stereotypically is is close to being like the Welsh accent as well so I go on with an Indian <laughs> accent sometimes and and then switch it into the English and say no don't worry I'm not from Wales and then that's straight away <laughs> Sort of, yeah, it puts people... One, it puts them at ease because they think, okay, right, we can we can relax with this guy because yeah. he's going to be uh, talking about some uh, funny things. And then um, it, it's, it's, it's just working past those stereotypes and mm. the reception has been really well so far, so I can't, I can't argue no, that. No, you're, you're brilliant at what but, you do. And what is the show about itself? Talk to us about the yeah. show. I mean, if someone was going to come out and see you, yeah. uh, what, 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 what would they expect? If no one's seen him right now, you can find him on YouTube. So the, the show that I do um, for The 99 Problems is... Yeah. Com- completely different to what I would do in, in a set, set sort of okay. thing yeah so because uh, with the 99 problems I explored it a bit more it, it's a bit more it's personal to me yeah so it's like takes you on a bit of a journey of how and what I've sort of experienced uh, being an Asian and being bearded and being non-bearded as well and the sort of things that people would sort of say uh, when I, I like to have a bit more fun in my set so I'm like a bit more ch- tongue in cheek I'll, I'll work on stereotypes I'll work on uh, living with parents and that sort of stuff and because you know that's what you do when you're <laughs> when you're <laughs> it's Asian. true yeah, yeah. we live with our Parents. But then again, yeah. I embrace it as well. So it's not like I'm ashamed of doing no. it. But it's just something that I mean, most most people are doing it now mm. because no one can afford to she move out. She said that the other day, actually, on our show. Yeah. She said it. This is culturally what we're about. My yeah. my mama G's, both of them lived with their mum until she passed away in the New Year's Day. Unfortunately, she passed away this year. Yeah. But she never was it a conversation about homes or anything like that. 
she looked after them as much as she they looked after her. Do yeah. you know what I mean? It's, yeah, yeah. it's almost like a partnership. And, yeah. and and this whole idea of homes and all of that kind of stuff, it is happening because of the way the work structure is. I yeah. mean, my cousins live in Australia at the moment and mm-hmm. their parents are here. Right. So is that care issue is there. Yeah. But the family are still gathering around so yeah. they can stay in their home. Yeah, yeah. And uh, and I think that's a, a point. And it's not it's not like a thing where you don't you can't move out. So because no, people have this you perception. Want, yeah, yeah. yeah. We, we used to like now I feel like a single parent with two 65 year old kids <laughs> <laughs> living at home. <laughs> So this, this is how I this is how I run my life. So I've got kids as well. <laughs> They're just a bit t- older than that. <laughs> when you tell your parents that, that hold on, it's a role reversal here now. I am your you know parent. I'm yeah. looking after yeah. you. What is their reaction usually? They just they just laugh it off and say, yeah, we looked after you for this amount of time. So now it's your time turn to look after us. Sort of thing. So they just they just I think it gets worse as it, like they're worse than children because they can understand stuff, but they refuse. To try. It's like when you, you know, when you try and teach them how to use the computer or the iPad. Oh my god, <laughs> that is like the worst situation. I want to put myself. I just want to kill myself. That's, that's uh, how I live my life. What about right the medication? Because I know that I have issues. I have with lots of med- medication yeah. to deal with. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what about their medication? Because I know there's medication around mum and dad, and uh, yeah. we always say to them, "Look, you got to take them. You can't just take them all together yeah, yeah. and say I've done for 24 hours. No, <laughs> there's a reason why they've given you times. Do you have to have these conversations <laughs> yeah i've thankfully i've got the uh the, i've got the pharmacist to put them into little, into little, little, w- yeah. Yeah, little boxes <laughs> and then and then they reuse those w like you know pretty, <laughs> like the proper asians and then never any 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 uh, medicine in it it's just some sort of like uh what do you call it the uh the powders the vitamins. <laughs> the, the powder, yeah, yeah, yeah the vitamins and stuff like that yeah just after dinner they pull it out and start <laughs> chewing on it and stuff but yeah uh, but yeah, thankfully that that's that's not too bad at the moment. They're, they're... I love that. <laughs> I want to ask you when you turned around and told your parents, "Oh, actually, so the day job is uh, I'm a, a comedian." comedian. Who um, said I've told them? Oh, so you oh, haven't no, told no, no. them? <laughs> no, no, seriously, we don't we don't want to you get you in trouble. Told them. Oh, no. yeah. well, well, don't worry, they don't know how to use yeah. the iPad yet. Yeah, exactly. I haven't told oh, them. So. Bless you. <laughs> they don't no, have to get you on digital. Yeah. Yeah. It's not the parents. Any of the family reaction? What's the reaction been like? Because yeah, let's I, be honest, there's not that many, you know, turban wearing Sikhs who are comedians, and yeah. I don't I often. Let's be clear, I'm not someone who will constantly, you know, point out. It's like someone saying to me, "Oh, you know, you're an Asian woman with long hair." Yeah, I know that. I don't like to constantly point it out, but I feel in your circumstance, you kind of need to because there's not that many yeah. comedians yeah. like yourself. No. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. You are really not the norm. So how when you say that to your parents, <laughs> it's, weird. It, well, it's a good thing. It's so a good thing. How do they react to that? Or have they? how have they reacted to all of this? My parents have thankfully been quite supportive and I think they realised that early on that I wasn't going to take the, like, the normal business or doctor route sort of thing. Uh, they probably still hope that I will. <laughs> yeah. uh, but that, ain't, <laughs> that, boat, that boat has sailed. Like. Yeah. But um, uh, and the thing is, but I think at some level, because it's not so uh, um, widely accepted within Asian culture, um, there is still that level of like, is he going for a phase? Or but do is we there... have enough role models though? I think I no, mentioned one is... British British uh, comedian, uh, Paul Chowdhury, and I guess you are someone who I look at, and I, and you know, hopefully you're successful as he is, and if not more, as Jonathan <laughs> yeah, Ross. Family. And then I can say, look who we've got. Like Jay Sean was that for a yeah. generation. Yeah. Yeah. Like Singers, he's yeah, he's, he's, he's gone abroad. Yeah. He was a number one selling album, sure. single in America. Yeah, but did the Brit Awards ever give him an award? No, they didn't. No, exactly. So, you know, so the so, recognition isn't. Uh, isn't sort of proportionate yes. to to the success of that individual, yeah. Uh, and I think it's a shame. And I think that's what we need is more role models out there and more people doing it. And but because it's not even even the industry as well is a little bit is is quite biased in a, yeah. uh, unfortunately. Mm. And um, so unfortunately, you can't live a life on that pay packet yeah. as but well. What would you say, what would you say to people down. who, you know, so well, hold on, if we were to look in the last two years, you know, we've got people like Ramesh Ranganathan, mm-hmm. Nish Kumar, Paul Chowdhury, all very much become household names. But you can count them on a, like one hand. Right. So your point is there needs to be more. <laughs> yeah, and, definitely. And I think why, why should we have a box to be ticked? Why can't we just be Comedians. accepted for the comedian or the writer or the whatever you are? Yeah. Why can you not just be brought in 
based on your material or your what you are bringing to the game mm. rather than oh we need an asian person or we need a chinese do person you, or we need a do you find the same conversation needs to be had about women over 50 in your field Every, because they also don't have a voice yeah and how many women over 50 are doing stand-up or even getting a professional review not just over 50 i think oh. women in general i don't mm. think they're they're represented as well as they should be in in the industry and i know loads of funny women mm -hmm. like like funnier than a lot of the men out there yeah but they just don't get the recognition and it's just it's a shame that's i mean why why should it be just one certain type of person that gets this recognition so over and over with that in mind though you know we've mentioned earlier on you're coming and you're on tour you're touring across the country with desi central yeah um and it, i mean it says what it is on the tin you're going to have an array of fantastic comedians but they are all from from the south asian diaspora they're asian is is that as much as you don't want to be in a box what's what's your perspective on being on a tour like this or do you think more tours like this are needed to really show showcase the kind of talent that is out there uh, i think because when when you're not getting uh, a soapbox or something to stand on you've yeah. got to create it yourself so, very true um this is just another way of saying like look we're not just your accountants we're not just your doctors although yeah. there's a lot of us uh there's, I, mean, <laughs> I mean that's there's more that's that we can thing. do yeah yeah, yeah there's yeah. more there's a lot more that we can do mm -hmm. and it's it's more socially accepted for people to see us as doctors or accountants yeah. or lawyers or this that, and the other I think it, there should be a point where it gets to a point where, you know, everyone's, it doesn't matter what you're doing, you you can achieve the best that you can achieve at, in that field. Now, if anyone wants further details for you, Hyde, because as I mentioned, Desi Central, it's on 14th of September, Harrow Arts Centre. You've got a busy old month because it's across the country, which yeah, is fantastic. We're starting off on Saturday in Southampton. Amazing. So, yeah, yeah, so um, and so how can people get in touch with you and kind of follow the journey for Hyde? Because what's great is you're a proud Londoner and you've you're yeah. waving the flag across the country. Hounslow. Uh, Hounslow, <laughs> like myself. Westside. Fellow Hounslonian. Yes, love go. that. I uh, loved it when Chabuddy G G's did his video. Yeah, he's that. the hound. I'm he the hide. So. <laughs> <laughs> I do love that. Um, so how can people kind of follow the journey for you? Uh, you can follow me on social media at Hyde Panessa all, all across the board. Uh, fa Facebook, Twitter, all that. And, and it's Panessa, P-A-N-A-S-E-R. Yeah, I spell it a little bit different. That's good. It's good yeah, to sound no, out. So Definitely. yeah, but everyone spells it the other way around. But yeah, yeah. Like, Hyde Panessa. Yeah. Uh, P A N A S E R. So from Southampton, then you're going to be in Harrow Arts Centre. Where else are you touring cross country? Um, there's uh, going to be in Leeds. Going to be in um, where else? There's loads of places all around the country. Uh, the Midlands. Church, uh, Midlands. Yeah, going to be Leicester. Um, there's so many places. About twenty places, I think. That's Do you have amazing. family in all of these places? Of course. <laughs> we <we're, we're laughs> going across the whole of the country. They're like, this is a really expensive tour. Now nah, I've got family. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'll stay there for the I'll night. I'll stay with it. Exactly. <laughs> um, are you never so excited about it? Because obviously, uh, the one beautiful thing when you do a, a, a gig and it is, you know, showcasing um, Asian talent is people will, uh, you know, our community, we kind of say what we think, right? And if we like it, we'll let you know. If we don't, we're going to let you yeah. know. Yeah. Um, and you're really, you know, you're putting yourself out there with Disney Central. So I mean, you... that's the thing about comedy, though. You get an instant reaction. It's not mm, like yeah. you put up a picture and then you wait for all the <laughs> likes. True. For the likes and, yeah, the comments, and, yeah. and you can sort of shut off from, from the bad comments yeah. or anything like that. When you're doing comedy, it's an instant reaction. So you know straight away whether people like you or not. Um, and that's what, I, I mean, that's part of the adrenaline rush as well. So yeah. um, it's just seeing the reaction of making a whole room of people that you don't know laugh. And, Are you, uh, you after your tour, uh, I guess in the new year when it's over? Yeah. Come and visit us again. Oh no, come don't down to the come down to the show. Don't make yes. it too long this time, man. No, no, no. Of course. Yeah, let me know. Yeah. Absolutely. We would love to come and see the on. show. It's been great having you on the show. We're gonna definitely follow the journey of Hyde Panessa. So as we mentioned, Hyde is a comedian, performer and writer. He's gonna be on tour with Desi Central. It kicks off in Southampton, but they're gonna be here, Harrow Arts Centre on the fourteenth of September for Desi Central. Um if you'd like further details as well for Hyde Panessa, then it's P A N A S E R. Uh, do you by any chance know the website for the tickets for Desi? central for the show um i think it's loveentertainment.co.uk i think it is uh yes you're absolutely right oh, loveentertainment.co.uk fast typing this show L -U -V. <laughs> you're booked for the next tour mate yeah, yeah. yeah i should get, the, the, I should you, get bonus I send, that them, send them this link right now <laughs> exactly uh, so it's luv by the way yeah, luv yeah. entertainment.co.uk and it's so important to stress isn't it just finally hide this is for everyone yes you may it may have asian comedians but anyone and everyone will love a show like yeah this. completely i mean we we do get mixed audiences obviously predominantly asian but there are mixed audiences and they all go away enjoying 
enjoying the what i found is from these what people do find is a british experience as yeah. much as we are talking about ethnicity and all of that yeah. stuff but that's secondary from living in a country that's what you're reflecting aren't you yeah. really i mean when you start talking about it you find a, out that we're all we're the bl- same we have the same that, experiences so. yeah, yeah it's brilliant it's that is the beautiful thing honestly um hi it's such a pleasure having you on the show oh, beautiful uh you. break a leg is that what we say yeah, i mean you so know you're not doing, doing theater. A play. he's not doing romeo and juliet show. i know you well, never know i might start doing hey, it. Yes. <laughs> be the hamlet of the uh-huh. <laughs> that would be kind of cool that would be kind of cool well have a great tour nonetheless <laughs> thank you uh 14th of september at harrow arts center for desi central uh featuring hyde panessa and array of fantastic uh comedians further details on the website loveentertainment.co.uk or you can get further details for Hyde on Hyde Panessa. Right now though, it is 7.30. Let's get the news headlines followed by traffic and travel. 